Hello everyone, myself Ritesh. I have five years of experience into data engineering and data analytics field. My key skills or key expertise are uh, Power BI for reporting purpose, uh, the database that is SQL. And uh, I have also have expertise into Azure Cloud, which includes uh, ETL that is Azure Data Factory, ADLS, Logic Apps and Databricks. I've been working for multiple MNCs since last five years. I've worked for retail, I've worked for automobile, and I've also worked for cloud and technological domains. In this video, we are going to learn about paginated reports in Power BI. So what exactly paginated reports are? How does it differ with the normal reports or normal dashboards created in Power BI? So paginated reports are nothing but which are designed for pixel perfect printing. So in case of any chart um, in Power BI where you need to scroll down till the end if you have multiple records available. So it would only give a particular visual or a particular preview of visuals uh, with the size of chart which you have used in case if you have around hundreds of records which you are trying to showcase in terms of a table so if that table size where in that table size you can only fit 10 records at a time so you would get a scroller here in case of normal power bi report whereas in case of paginated reports every different uh, uh, you could say uh, if you have if you are displaying 100 records uh, in a tabular model in a table concept or a table uh, kpi and only 10 records are able to uh, see or preview at a single instance so there won't be any scroller available in case of paginated report it would create multiple pages so what is the exact use of paginated report they are ideal for exporting into an excel or a pdf format or if you want to share uh, or in case if you want to print that data so in case of that uh, the paginated reports are way more useful. So how paginated report differ from a normal Power BI report? Uh, with the Power BI Builder. So Power BI Builder is nothing but a, a kind of tool where you can, with that tool where you can create a paginated report. So there are multiple tools available, but most frequently Power BI Report Builder is used. So paginated reports are nothing but just like SSRS only. You can compare it with SQL Server reporting service, which have come to Power BI with advanced features for better reports. So the basic difference between the Power BI and uh, page in a normal Power BI report and page generated reports are, in case of Power BI reports, they are interactive analytical reports. Whereas in case of uh, page generated report, they are not much interactive, but they are pixel perfect. So whatever data they are displaying, they, are display, they display that data as one particular page. If that data is scrolling towards the end, if, you're, if you have a scroller or a kind of table KPI where there are hundreds or thousands of records and it would only render or preview only 10 records at a particular page. So it would create multiple pages for that. So page generated reports, pixel perfect. The basic file extension differences in case of Power BI normal report, it's a .pbix, whereas in case of page generated reports, it is .rdl. And Power BI reports are powerful, user-friendly UI of a Power BI desktop, whereas in case of page generated reports, they are also very powerful, but not much user friendly because just in case you want to share that particular reports data in, in terms of PDF or in terms of any other file, you can download it from the service and you can share it. So they are pixel perfect reports. So we would move, how does it differ? So we have a report available with us, inflation report. So this report has multiple KPIs here, income per person, the GDP, goods and service import, goods and service export, top five inflation. So these inflations are number uh, in terms of nations in complete uh, our complete world or complete globe. The total healthcare spending as a percent of GDP. Uh, so just in case of this KPI, you need to scroll it down towards the end as we have multiple countries data available in case of below visual also we have multiple countries available so this report is already published to power bi service so this is how a power bi service would look like the report is already available here so if you want to open this report and you want to export this to power bi in, in case of pdf current values 
and default values so this uh, download why i am downloading this this is to help you how does a, a pdf in normal uh, power bi report would look like so whatever we can see here only that data is captured in pdf so if you scroll it down and then take a pdf it would snapshot that particular data only you cannot scroll it in case of pdf we have multiple countries data available here you need to scroll it down till the end we'll open this so you don't have a scroller option available it would take a snapshot of that particular visual only so in case of we would go back to service again in case of paginated report the concept would change here so how to create a paginated report with the help of existing report only you can create a paginated report if you go to the data set of that particular page there is an option called as create paginated report so it would create a different tab here you can find filter you can find data tab you can find build tab so if you want to project country gdp inflation life expectancy and income per person so this is a pixel perfect income per person won't fit here because we have reduced so the size either we have to increase the size income per person would come so here the concept of pixel perfect report comes into picture we cannot use multiple tabs or multiple columns here club together you can find a total column or the total value available at the end of the page so how does this page look like if you go to home tab you can only see few records here and the total is directly available even the total is looking messed up here just because pixel perfect report i mean the report the size of this table is going beyond that pixel so we can only see countries till chile uh, they see available here so if you go to this options available in home page it would go to the last tab so here you can see zambia and then total again so it would create multiple tables in case of normal power bi report it would have given a scroller here and if you have downloaded that pdf would look a different so we can scroll it back to the page which you want depending on the count of records available it would automatically create the number of pages so you have view option here you can view it in a web layout or else you can view, view it in a print layout you have a tab to see the diagnostics you have a tab to insert an image you can insert a background image or you can insert a text box here so paginated reports are not much interactive they are highly powerful but they are not much interactive in case of normal report you could see multiple slicers you could see multiple uh, other kpi cards available here but in case of paginated they are pixel perfect they would fit in that particular pixel only if you want to save let's let's save this and we would see underscore paginated just to get an idea even if you won't give paginated here we can see the difference in the power bi service itself let's save this report first go to the workspace so in case of normal report the view available here uh, is completely different you could see a three line uh, a kind of line chart available which would give you a report whereas if you go here uh, it would give you a paginated report so with this you can also differ so this is a paginated report click on this yeah so let's see how a pdf would look like yeah so it would download five different pages so till the end you would download you can see in case of normal report it would have downloaded only that particular preview which you are trying to see so this is the basic uh, advantage of a paginated report it may not be that interactive but it would completely copy each value or each column i mean the number of records or number of rows available and then it would uh, if you want to download it if you want to share it in uh, in terms of microsoft excel or it in accessible pdf yeah you can share it directly with the end users so these are, this is the basic advantage of pixel perfect report Uh, we can also create a slicer here uh, once you download this report uh, you can check how does it look like 
So these reports, uh, once you download it, you can also add filters. As I said, you can add filters there. So let's first download. So how does that filter works like? So whenever you download this paginated report, it downloads in .rdl format rather than .pbix format. So that RDL formats reports need to be opened in the report builder, Power BI report builder. So we will paste a link of this uh, application in this video itself. So how a Power BI builder look like. So this is the basic interactive UI of uh, so as we have downloaded, let's open this file, open SPC downloads. This is the report. So here you can see once you open that report, you can see the number of columns present here. So if you want to add any filter here, uh, let's see, we will create a filter here. Once you enter any specific uh, um, a value here, then it would show up the countries and all the data. So in case of adding filters uh, in Power BI Report Builder, it's nothing but a parameter. So you can add a parameter, it behaves like a filter here. So in case of name, um, you can write show countries show countries and the prompt name would be enter show data country here we have added parameter the prompt and name this is missing there shouldn't be any space here yep so this parameter is there um, so in order to run this you have to run this here so country you can enter any value as i've entered show once you enter show it would show up the number of records so you can add a filter or you can add a parameter to show data or to hide data or else uh, i mean a kind of filter i mean you cannot filter the data but to show or not show the data you can add a kind of parameter here which would help. Uh, so once you go back to design again, this would be the design mode. And once you run it again, this would be the normal mode. There are parameters. So parameter cannot be blank. Once you enter anything, then it would go. So this is how we can add a parameter or a kind of filter to show or hide or unhide the data in terms of paginated report and you can see the dot rdl format also how does the dot rdl format is opened in the power bi report builder so every paginated report once you download every paginated report it opens in the dot rdl format rather than the normal dot pbx format in case of normal pbx or power bi reports so this is what the complete uh, paginated reports is about uh, more a kind of pixel perfect reports, uh, but not as interactive. But if you want to share complete information, then paginated reports are more important rather than the normal reports where it would show only pictorial, that pictorial or that present uh, time pictorial representation only. Yep, thank you.